Let me guess. You want to set up your home automation to be accessible from any place in the world. You already executed all the steps from step-by-step -step guides how to set up your DNS, make some port forwardings in your router and do a lot of other strange stuff you don't really understand what do you need to do it for. And after all of that, your brilliant remote access DNS solution doesn't work? Once. I spent all the months trying to set up my DNS for Home Assistant effectiveness. What was the reason? To be honest, I don't know. But hopefully, I found the solution how to set up remote access to my Home Assistant in easy, fast and painless way. Let's watch the tutorial. I will tell you. For this purpose, we will use the Dataplicity application. Let's register at dataplicity.com. At main window, let's provide our email. After that, you will receive the special code. You can see it on the bottom, or you can just refresh page to see it more clearly. And in that code, there is a part that looks like https dataplicity.com something something.py. That part we need to save for later. But for now, let's go to our home assistant and let's try to install our Dataplicity custom component. We will need to do it through the hacks. If you haven't installed hacks on your Home Assistant, you can just follow the guide from official hacks page. Very easy guide. It's kind of a lot of different steps you need to do, but all of them are well descriptive here and kind of straightforward. In integration start, you need to click on the three dots on the top right corner and choose the custom repositories. Here we need to provide the link to the Dataplicity custom component. And the link is, you can just rewrite it, Alex IT Dataplicity. Let's choose category integration and let's click add. Nice. Our custom component have been added. Let's click on it and let's download. After that add-on is downloaded, let's go to our settings, let's open integration tab, and in the searcher let's provide data please. Here we have a step with registering the duplicity device. Remember that code I asked you to save for later? Here we need to paste it. In fact, you shouldn't show anyone that code, but I'm going to delete that account after tutorial will be created. Now our Dataplicity custom component is installed and connected and we can go to the Dataplicity main page where we can find our new device. We can see Home Assistant here, now let's click on it and in the bar on the right side we need to enable workflow feature which is providing link by whose we can access our Home Assistant remotely. Let's open that link and voila! We can enjoy our Home Assistant from any place in the world using the Dataplicity wormhole link. If you have any question or questions about Dataplicity, don't hesitate to leave it in the comment. I will try to answer them. Also, please click the like button and see you next time. Bye.